Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, there's what's known as the client, a person who secures the professional services of another. <laughs> then in computers, a program serviced by another program. Yes. <laughs> then there's that clientele, a collection of patients, customers, or clients. Ouch. <laughs> And then there's uh, the closer, a salesperson who finalizes transactions. Yes. <laughs> now, I've, I've had clients before. I was a financial consultant. Yes. <laughs> a lot of people would consider me a closer. I, I realize the importance of a signature and date. And if you don't get that, you can't close the deal. <laughs> now, I want to look at these computer programs where they have clients. Yes. <laughs> Now, there's something other than the operating system. It's it's a software that has the other software as clients. Yes. <laughs> Could you go through all the personal electronics, both home and uh, profession? Yes. Of every oath of office, every person in law enforcement. Yes. <laughs> every individual that happens to be uh, an attorney, an attorney firm. <laughs> now, I know. Poof. This whole concept of the client in computer language where I'm the actual software of all these little babies that you made from my genetics. Right. And they have my brain, but I'm connected to theirs and I influence their thoughts because I'm that brain that happens to be older than theirs because I'm their genetics. Oh, <laughs> that's why they think like I do. <laughs> now in computer language, yes. <laughs> Some technologists wanted to design clones, yes, thinking that they would be a, a good replacement for the actual human population because of the, well, the expense of having actual employees. It's so much easier if you have a dog instead of the actual employee, isn't it? Yes. Somebody sold uh, corporate America on this big idea. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to make one of you. Yes. <laughs> We'll need your genetics to do it. Now, where'd you get that from? Because they all came in a cup. <laughs> yeah, let's say you're, uh, you're a judge. Right. Ten years ago, somebody approached you about the top secret need to have you stay home so your dog could be the judge. And your, jo your dog decided to issue a bench warrant for my arrest for $500,100. <laughs> And it's not like I wouldn't realize that a district court judge would never put that great of amount on a bench warrant where I didn't receive summons, and <laughs> I'll talk to you about it a little later on. But it seems that some of these dogs, <laughs> they were introduced to the population as if the individual would be the client, the <laughs> software that would run the software of the brain, of the genetics of the individual, <laughs> Then the dog said, no, I'm the judge! And now we're supposed to have dog brains as the clients of the population. <laughs> now, my big problem with this whole experimentation that you've been doing right now <laughs> is that you decided to make what was going to be some dogs out of my genetics. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you should have did that. I really don't. <laughs> Because if you killed anything, mate, you're baby murderers, you stupid. <laughs>